Hey, thanks for joining me. Last episode, we had left off with me getting drawed back on a nice buck I named Larry. And the other two bucks with them, I nicknamed Daryl and Daryl. As you can see in the Browning Trail Crammer video, after they went by. That was a Friday. I got geared up to hunt October 27th. And I picked that day, went out and checked trail cameras on Thursday just to get some MRI, most recent information. And I had great surprise. TJ Hooker, this buck I nicknamed, had been showing his face a little bit here and there. Have a little history with him. He came by my intersection scrape on Monday at 9.15 in the morning. On Tuesday, he was chasing a doe through another part of my property at about noontime. And I didn't know it at the time, but also Thursday morning, he was right behind the house I also captured with the Browning Trail camera. So I was really excited to go out Friday morning. So I got headed out. Friday morning and as I walked out it was a really calm morning about 37 degrees I had a great northwest wind perfect for the setup I was coming but shine my light and there is a deer 15 yards from me I could see the two eyes it's in its little bedding area and I didn't know what to do I should have turned around went back up to the house but I know that that TJ Hooker was coming in about 9.15, 9.30. And that was a couple hours away. So I decided to push through, had some deer snored at me and run off. Don't think they winded me, but nevertheless, bucks are on their feet. Anything can happen at this point. So I get set up in my stand, nice and early. I have a couple does. I sat there for a couple hours and had a, had a doe and a fawn come by me. Um, on this path right underneath me eating some acorns didn't know I was there and they bet on the property I kicked these deer up a lot you see in the last episode I kicked the same deer up well they just kind of went through eating and went to their bedding area and I didn't see him again throughout the morning I was doing a little light grunting here and there um, I don't know like a, a two-year-old or whatever grunt um, not a deep mature buck because we really don't have deep mature bucks around here So I'm not gonna scare any of the little bucks off or little bucks that I have did this and uh, Looked over about 75 80 yards away. I seen a big body and I just said right then it's him. He's coming and uh, As this next sequence plays out this next sequence takes about eight to ten minutes But I am going to cut a lot of minutes off due to well shaking and you'll notice the camera shaking you'll hear it shaking a little bit and um hope you enjoy
So after I shot, uh, after about 10 minutes, I had a couple yearling bucks come right underneath me from behind me. It was a cool sequence. I got them on film a little bit. And I waited about a half hour or so and decided to kind of, I was going to just sneak out, make sure, check the arrow and sneak out the other way um, unless I could see him laying over there. And um, the recovery footage is really shaky and raw, but I decided to show a little bit of it. And uh, I just could not be happier with everything. It all worked out great. Um, you know, I I'm guessing... TJ to be about a three-year-old buck, three-and-a-half-year-old, but it's his fourth hunting season. You know, he, his first year, he's six months old. He's a button buck, not sure what to do. And I looked back in some old footage, and I think I found some some footage of him from last year as a two-year-old, and I might have even found one of him as a year-and-a-half. I... I checked the lower jawbone, and, and to me, obviously, he is two and a half easily at least, but he very easily could be three. I sent the two front incisors into ageyourdeer.com to get those aged so I can get a better perspective. He weighed 190 pounds, live weight. He, um, uh, 160 after I field dressed him. And, but I'm telling you what, I got a new dart and bow this year. And uh, it's a great little shooter. I used Ramcat broadheads. But if that deer did not drop after the sound of the arrow hitting, I just barely caught the bottom of his heart with that Ramcat original. Sliced it right open and he only went 50 yards. It was just awesome. And uh, hopefully I can repeat these steps again. Thank you for watching. Complete Deer TV, Landscaping for White Tails. Please subscribe, share the video, tell me your thoughts. God bless.